Has a wine ever moved you to tears? That's what happened at Carpasa, a winery in Rada in Chianti Classico. This is the first time I've ever tasted the wines. The labels are pretty particular, and I didn't know what to expect, especially since the winery is in the house. But when I got there, I was really excited. Now this is a great place. <laughs> Meet Paolo. He's the vigneron. He does everything. He's in the vineyard and he's making the wine. When it comes to small production wine like this, it's really about passion. It's really not a high margin product. So you need a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of work. My father is actually in agriculture. We have about a thousand hectares, but it's mostly vegetables. And I saw how hard he worked his entire life. Once in a while, I meet winemakers' vignerons that remind me of him, and Paolo is one of these. He takes us for a stroll in his vineyard, the Dolce Amateo. It was hot outside. It was like 40 degrees, close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so the hike up made me sweat quite a bit, but it was worth the view. Back in the cellar, Paolo walks us through the entire bear range. There's not a lot of technology here. Everything's stripped down. The cellar really reminds me of the old school traditional cellars I see in France. It's humble, but I can really feel Paolo's energy, so I'm very excited to taste the wines. This guy is great. A real vigneron. You can taste 12 different wines because I use carabin. First the orange wine, which is solid, but the Chianti Classico Annata, Wowzers! That's excellent, Chianti Classico Anata. Really good. Riserva Caparsino 2019, 100% Sangiovese. This is the kind of tasting that I like, fast and furious. Paolo goes at a breakneck pace, which is cool because with wines like this, you know right away. Killer Chianti Classico, tons of texture. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong here. You're on the same line, same piano in vertical with a different color. And onto a mini vertical with wines from the vineyard we just took a walk in. And then know the 60s. Oh, excellent. Wow. wow. Great nose. Mm. These are the type of wines that really bring you energy, kind of bring youth to the face. Just magical stuff. The person taking me around is the social media manager for the Chianti Classico Consortio. And Paolo is actually her uncle. Excellent. Wow, it's so good. <laughs> Paolo sees that I'm moved by the wines, so he opens a 2000 Dolce Mateo. Oh my god, that's wow. Where you are. And, uh... and the wine that finally brings me to tears, the 2019 Dolce Mateo, which isn't released yet. One of the few wines that brings tears, to, one of the few wines that brought tears to my eyes in the last few years. Just outstanding stuff. Wow. Full time YouTuber. Full time YouTuber, yes. These are the type of travel experiences that energize me and make everything worth it.